Hi, we're the Spawns from the Point Church in Greenwood, Indiana, and we welcome you into our home this Christmas season for a daily devotional from the Jesse Tree by Kent and Kathleen Pelton. It is a uh, devotional that we'll be doing between now and Christmas Day, and we hope this blesses you. Our reading today is from Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 7, and then 15, 1 through 6. The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. He took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Abram traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Morah at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. And then chapter 15, verses 1 through 6. After this, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your very great reward. But Abram said, Sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless, and the one who will inherit my estate is Eleazar of Damascus? And Abram said, You have, been, you have given me no children, so a servant in my household will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him, This man will not be your heir but a son who is your own flesh and blood will be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars, if indeed you can count them. Then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. Abraham believed the Lord, and he accredited it to him as righteousness. Today, we think of Abraham, one of Jesus' ancestors the father of Israel, the nation. The stars and sand have a couple of meanings for us. First, they represent the promise God made to Abraham and his descendants, namely, that they would be numbered as the stars of heaven or the sands of the beach, innumerable. Secondly, for us, they remind us of his nomadic life. Abraham didn't have a permanent home he traveled from place to place to find food for his family and for his herds. Furthermore, he didn't know where his destination lay, only that he was headed in the direction that God commanded. There are many stories of Abraham. Most of them center around one particular characteristic that Abraham displayed throughout his life. You've probably already guessed it. The first real story we read about Abraham is how he left his home to go to a place he did not know. We've done this too. Sometimes we leave one house and move to another house, perhaps even another country. Usually we have no clue where our next home will be, but as certainly as the Lord leads us, he provides all that's necessary. When God asks us to begin a new life, a life of obedience to him, we are not too sure of what that may mean, and so we must depend on God to show us. It's a life of faith and trust in God to show us how to live. Abraham is known for his faith and how he trusted God to show him where to live. He left a nice home in the upper class part of Calvi's and began to live in a tent, not knowing where he would be next, pitching his tent. When a young man asked to follow Jesus one day, Jesus answered him and said, Foxes have holes and birds have nests, but I, the Son of Man, have no home of my own, not even a place to lay my head. 
Jesus knew he was reliant upon his heavenly Father to care for his needs while on earth. Should we expect anything different? Abraham is a true part of the family tree of Jesus. The Apostle Paul tells us we can be too, if we are ready to live like Abraham by faith. Let's pray. Almighty God, help us to remember that you are almighty and that we can uh, trust you in everything. Help us to live in faith, trusting you to provide for us always so that we might truly become and remain part of our family. Amen. 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 Thanks for joining us this day. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.